beautiful Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. Yeah, just a great, just a great opportunity to come down here for the uh, grand reopening of the secret Royal Beach Punta Cana. And uh, oh my gosh, I am so impressed. Um, this is the most beautiful beach we're sitting on right here, and I know you can see the pool in the background. Um, but uh, we'll show you some pictures of the beach. It is expansive. The water is beautiful. You know, I love the water of the Riviera Maya, but boy, I didn't realize Punta Cana had this beautiful water and beach. It's awesome. And the beach that we're actually on is Bavaro, or as they say, Playa Bavaro, uh, which is Bavaro Beach, which is a really, really, really large white sandy beach. Uh, beautiful turquoise water. There is coral reef out, so the snorkeling here is really, really good. Um, the, 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 the current is perfect. I mean, you can actually get in the water here. There's some beaches here in the Dominican that's not recommended, but this happens to be one where you can. I think there's some where you can surf too, right? I, I believe there are, absolutely. I am sitting here right now with the ocean in front of me, and I can see one, two, three, four, five, five different colors of water. It is just gorgeous and there's boats out there to take you wherever. Um, it is just awesome. Yeah, and well, you know, we landed here. Mm -hmm. We, um, they, of course, the airline had their this, you know, same safety protocols for COVID that they put into place. Uh -huh. And then uh, at uh, our transfer company, Metis, got us on the transfer. They use the same protocols as mm -hmm. well, where they uh, they use the alcohol swabs, the sanitizing of the bags and that right, type of thing. Right, right, right. And digital then, temperature. Yeah. Digital temperature, the whole works. We get to the resort and they have their protocols in place. Again, uh, temperature, uh, hand wipes, germicide, that type of thing. So everybody is taking this COVID protocols very, very serious. Yeah. And so safety is, is, is number one. You do not have to wear masks throughout the property. Um, there are some people that wear them in the restaurants and lobby and so forth, but the employees all wear masks. Uh, like I said, we're here for the grand reopening. The president came and wow. did the grand reopening. That's really cool. Uh, and the president of the Dominican Republic, let me clarify that. Yeah. Um, and it was an amazing event. Uh, they just pulled out all of the stops. Um, one thing that we have really come to realize is you don't want to come to this resort unless you stay in the preferred section. Um, it's not that the rest of the resort is bad, but it's just there's a few little perks. I mean, like this gorgeous pool behind us and this gorgeous bar um, and uh, the snacks and the preferred lounge. And there's just some perks that are really great staying in the preferred section. And the attention to details that the butlers and the concierge give you when you're staying in the preferred section is unbelievable. Yeah. So, definitely, when we go to design your trip to the Punta Cana. Well, the rooms here are beautiful. You know what? Junior suites, suite rooms. They're yeah. not really yeah. rooms, suites, uh -huh. suites. Because this is an all-suite hotel. Mm -hmm. um, there's 641 total suites here with, um, I would say, a majority of them, 600-ish, being junior suites. Mm -hmm. They do have master suites and they do have presidential suites. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I think the rooms are very well equipped. Um, they have a nice, you know, bathroom, um, a shower, and a tub, which I enjoy. Um, and then it's a whirlpool tub at that. It's a whirlpool tub. Yep. Um, you can get, you know, king beds or, or um, two double beds. Most of the rooms are equipped with king, though, because there's more couples. Um, the, uh, there's a little table, a bistro table with chairs in your room and a, and a desk. And uh, the patios are, it, we're staying in a, is it a swim up? We're, st we're staying in a uh, private pool, private uh, pool. junior suite in the preferred section. And the pools are so nice. They are just, they're beautiful, first of all. Um, and you can sit out on your patio and just enjoy the sound of the water and, uh, or take a dip in the water. Um, they've got two lounge chairs out there. They're just beautiful. You know, and the one thing that I can, that, you know, I say this on every, every time, but mm -hmm. the, having your own pool on your own patio yeah. is an amazing thing because I love to go out and sit in it, yes. listen to music, have a glass of wine or a glass of whiskey and just kind of relax and chill. Yeah. Lisa, of course, loves to read, yeah. so it, it's it's perfect so for I us, and I'm sure it'd be perfect and for you. He sits out in the pool. Yeah. So it's awesome. It it is awesome. And and there's also, uh, I believe, there's weight service um, 
No, that's the that's the swim up rooms yeah, where they have weight service. Swim up, swim. Yeah. That's the, the the actual swim up rooms in the preferred section only. The preferred have section. wait staff that wait go staff. from room to room uh, yeah. serving cocktails. And, and, and are really really nice. They have a walkout patio where you get in the pool and you're on a like a it lazy. Looks like a canal or a lazy river. Yeah, or they, they call it a lazy river, but it's like a canal that kind of takes you right into the main pool, the preferred section pool. Um, it's very well done. There's beach beds on the other side, um, and it really is super beautiful. I mean, beautiful to your eyes. And, you know, I just can't, and, and then also being part of the Preferred Club, you have a private section of the beach for the Preferred members. And so there's there's uh, ballet beds like the one we're yeah. sitting on. Uh, there's multi-level ballet uh, uh, cabana suites that you can pre-reserve. There's an additional cost for that, but it's minimal. Uh, so they have something for everybody's likes and everybody's needs. Oh, they do. Well, one thing about Secrets is choices for restaurants. I mean, they have a lot of different choices, yeah. a lot of different, a lot of different cuisine. Um, Himatsu, oh, which yeah. is the Asian, Asian. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Teppanyaki is always fun. Teppanyaki. They have two teppanyaki tables yes. in the restaurant. Yes. Um, then they have Bordeaux which is the French restaurant, which is where we dined the first night. It was super yummy. When I think of French food, I'm not a fan of French food. So, and when I went in there, I was super surprised and happy about the menu because it's not, uh, you know, they've got steak and they've got some things that most everybody would enjoy. Yep. It's just got a little French flavor. It's not it. traditional French, right. but it's, 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 I would say it's French-American fusion. Yeah, maybe so. You know? Uh, Maybe but, so. Yeah. And there's a waiter that we really loved in that restaurant. Yeah. Uh, Wilkin. Wilkin. Yeah. Yes. He's, he, he's, he did an amazing you job. You know, it's it's so funny how the staff can really make your trip at a resort. Um, when they're super friendly, they remember your preferences, they remember your name, and uh, every morning we'd go to breakfast also and he'd be there. Um, it's, it's awesome. And the breakfast is uh, a buffet. Um, well, you have two choices. Yes. Well, right during COVID times, right now we have we had just the one choice, which was which was a buffet. Yeah. But but normally you have two choices. Mm -hmm. um, you have the uh, the buffet, which is the La Riviera, right. Right. and then you also had Olio, Olio. which yes. is an a la carte restaurant. Yes. But due to low occupancies, you know, Olio is not open yeah. while well, we're here. Yeah. But the, but you do have those choices. But anyway, we really enjoyed the buffet. You know, they serve you. You don't serve yourself at the buffet during COVID. Um, and uh, we, they just had some great options. I really, I think this is one of my favorite resorts for breakfast. You know, and, and you know, we uh, they have a Mexican restaurant, in Apatio. The food was amazing. Yes. Service was a little off, but yeah. the food was amazing. Yeah, it was great food. But you know, service fluctuates depending upon yeah. your preferences and 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 wait staff and and I guess you know how they're feeling that day as well. Yeah, probably. And so. unfortunately, we had a we had an off day. Yeah. But. Food was amazing. Yeah, it was. And I will tell you this: if you dine in any of the restaurants, and Wilkin is your waiter, <laughs> you won't be you disappointed. Just hit, you just hit a home run. Okay. So, what was the other restaurant we ate at um, that had the pictures, nostalgic uh, pictures on the wall? It was like TV. Oh, with... that was the. Um, bum, 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 bum. That was the. Um, Blue Water Seafood Grill. Blue Water Seafood Grill. And it's not just seafood. Yeah. Um, because uh, you know Lisa's not a big seafood fan, right. but so they had plenty of options for for people that don't like seafood. Yes. But the, the options for people that do like seafood were, were really, really, really good. They were. Yeah. They were. It was really, and it was just a fun. They had fun music on in the morning. You know, we're Texas people, and we love country music. So in the mornings, they play country country music in the restaurant. There's so much to do in the DR. You, you know, there is, and there's so much to do on the property yes. uh, because with this expansive beach, I mean, they got catamarans, uh, mm -hmm. little small 20 foot catamarans. Yes. Um, I did hear that they have a kite surfing school oh, nearby, nice. uh, so you can do kite surfing. Uh, I saw parasailing. Yes. Uh, of course, you got snorkeling. Yes. Um, I do see fishing boats, so I know deep sea fishing is available. Um, and of course, off property, you got zip lines, you got the razors. Uh, the, you know, the jungle tours, uh, you got city tours like, with, with cultural things. Uh, there are some little art galleries in and around town. Of uh, course, right now during COVID, some of the things are limited. Some of the tours are limited. Um, there's not nearly as many.
but there's still plenty to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we didn't even touch on the fact that there's casinos nearby. Oh, yeah, that's and right. There's actually a casino on property, it's just not open yet. Yes, yeah. Yeah. But, there, but there's other casinos nearby. Uh, Hard Rock having the largest casino oh, yeah. on the entire island. Absolutely. Um, and then there's multiple golf courses with some very challenging courses. They've held a PG, some PGA tournaments here. Yeah. So there's some PGA quality That's golf courses great. here. So there's options for, for everybody. Spa, we gotta tell oh, about the spa because yeah. the spa here is really, really, it really is good. It is really nice. Um, they've got a whole section for um, brides who are getting ready, like a whole salon area. And um, they have wonderful massages and uh, uh, what's the water circuits. And it's just, it's a top notch spa. Yes, absolutely. And so no matter what you like or what you want to do, I, I You're gonna find it here. But wait a minute, I got a fun fact. I got some yeah, fun I've facts a, I wanna Yeah, go that's in. what I wanted to say. Right. Question number one. Did you know that the airport here in Punta Cana was privately owned? No, I didn't until you told me the other day. Well, did you know that it is the largest privately owned airport in the Caribbean? I didn't. Something that I learned yesterday from our driver mm -hmm. is that that airport welcomes 85% of all visitors into the Dominican Republic. Wow. Now keep That's in mind, because Santo Domingo is the capital. Yeah. La Romana has got the best golf, which is, and then they both have airports. Uh -huh. But more people fly into Punta Cana yeah. than anywhere else. Well, and I've heard that it's super safe in this area. You know, you hear about crime in uh, the DR, but like in the U.S., you know, for instance, the crime rate in Chicago might be really bad, but it's typically in the inner city of Chicago. It's not in the suburbs. Um, so like that. Just like Houston. I mean, yeah. we have our own crime issues going yeah. on in the, in the inner right. city, right. but you go out into the suburbs and it's, and it's, it's, uh, it's, and it's a lot less. Same thing here, and, and something that you, we learned yesterday yes. as well uh -huh. was the fact that Punta Cana was created, was developed uh -huh. as a tourist destination, yes. and they specifically built the resort areas away from the residential areas to keep everything separate. Yes. Which, yes. which I you thought know, that was very interesting. It was very interesting to know as well. That, so they they always have your safety in mind. Period. Yeah, we hope to help you with your next vacation um, to the DR. Secrets Royal Beach Punta Cana. Beach Punta Cana. <laughs> and we're going to design it for you. Well, that's another great getaway. And we look forward to designing your next vacation. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we look forward to seeing you each and every Tuesday for Tuesday Travel.